So I'm going to talk about what I'm hoping to do this year for the homestead, the changes I want to make. And the biggest one is right there. That is a pile of cinder blocks and T-posts and fencing, all kinds of stuff sitting in front of my vegetable garden. But my vegetable garden is only 20 by 20 and it's just not big enough. So what I'm hoping to do is bring it out to right where this rock is, right here. And that's probably 15 feet about that I want to bring it further towards me. And it's not quite double, but that'll give me quite a bit more growing space. So it means I'm going to be moving all of that and using a lot of that fencing, the T-posts. But I also want to expand my goat pen. And there's my girls. That's Jackie. She thinks I'm going to feed her. And that one's oatmeal that just got up. And she thinks I'm going to feed her. And I'm not. It's not time. And that's Carmel. And I did not name any of these. This is the names that they had when they were given to me. I have a few names of my own that I use. <laughs> but they're cute. Hi, hey, Carmel. Hey, Mom. Big old fat one over there, and no, she is not pregnant. She's just extremely fat, and I've been trying to put her on a diet, and it's not working. That is Maddie. Maddie the fatty. She will chase everybody away from the food, and I've pretty much had to stand over her lately to stop her from doing that. So this is my goat pen. And it's working really well, especially this enclosure where I put them at night. It's completely enclosed to keep the predators from getting in. And that's working, but they need more space. And this is something I did quickly just so that I could get the goats. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all. Yeah. So, I need to give them more room. And I think where I'm going to go with that is I have this huge pile of broken concrete. This, when we built our house, this was going to be the driveway material. But the guy that didn't did the concrete did not put any reinforcement in it. And you'll see some that goes six inches deep and you'll see some that's two inches deep and we would not accept that work so they tore it out and it got hauled over here but we haven't done anything with it but I think my goats would really have a good time with this so I don't know what do y'all think so I'm thinking that I will come from just this side of the pile and go straight out surround that. And that is one possibility. The other is that I may just take it out here and it's going to slope down because here's the end of the fence. I may just take it down there, I don't know, another 30 feet. Something like that. Maybe, maybe to as far as where those rocks are. That will give them some more room. And at some point, I'm going to build some kind of a barn for them. So this is all part, there they are. This is all part of my plans out here for this summer, if I can get it done. This would be ideal, I think. But I want to leave room for a barn on a level spot. So that's, I'm not sure where that will be. So we'll have to 
see how that works. But at least it would give this a use and stop hiding as many critters as hide in there in the summer. So that's some of my plans for outside. And this is a major project that we will be taking on this year, hopefully. This is one bank of batteries that runs our house. There's eight of those. And they're all wired. Uh, you can probably see those copper plates that connect them all together. And our inverters are all inside this box. Then you got all this stuff up here and our boiler and everything else, but the batteries. We bought these in 2006 used. These are data center batteries and they have been running the house. This is one bank. And then we have another bank of batteries. And I'm gonna try and show you these, but they're covered up by a blanket. This is the other bank of batteries. There's four of these. And I don't know if you can see, but they're uh, three and a half to four feet wide. And about two and a half to three feet, probably three feet deep. And they're huge. But again, we bought them used and our house has been running off of them since 2007. So we will be replacing these batteries, hopefully within the year. These are still good. They just are not holding enough charge to keep our house running the way we need it to. So we're really having to conserve where we can and we are going to replace them with a different kind of battery. And I couldn't tell you without Brian's help, but it'd be very different setup and the, you don't add water to them or anything like that. The batteries we're going to get are not sealed and they will require maintenance. And the other issue is they off gas. So we're going to have to build an enclosure for those and a rack system to put them in. But you're talking these batteries run a 3,200 square foot house along with the two inverters. There's one down there. So it's quite a project and it's a large expense, but when people think off grid, they think very simple, very rustic, and it can be. But it can also be like this where you are running everything into these batteries and out of them. So these are solar panels feed these energy, they store it, and then we can draw on it as we need it. So it's pretty complex. I don't understand a lot of it, but it pretty much runs itself. We just have to monitor and maintain it. So that is our huge project. And this, <laughs> this is where the well water comes into our garage and you can see the the large water pump just kicked on you can hear it but that thing uses a lot of power a lot and with our batteries aging one of the issues is at nighttime when you don't have the sun shining that 
eats up a lot of power. So Brian kind of rigged something for us. We have an RV water pump there and this manifold. So every evening when the sun starts to set, we close that valve, we close that valve, we open that one, we turn that pump off and turn on this RV pump. And this RV pump is pumping water to the far ends of our house, which cracks me up. It works, it's not a high output, but it gets water throughout our house. And this is our whole house filter. So all of our water comes in from our well and then stored in a big tank outside. And this is how it's filtered because we have a lot of stuff in our well water, a lot of iron, a lot of all kinds of stuff. So it goes through all of this along with that UV filter across the top. That's a light. So that's how we handle all of our water. And yeah, we're off grid. So those are our hoped for projects this coming year. And while I'm telling you about that, I'm showing you my junkyard critters because I love those things. So we've got a lot planned, a lot that we are going to try and get done, time willing. And we have two new additions to our homestead. There are two five-year-old cats and three barn cats. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Make sure it says all videos. We'll talk again soon and God bless.